What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, tell your clan about the tournaments that we do every single day, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live streams, all that good stuff. And we're back trying to do a little trophy climbing, trying to win some cards in the Grand Challenges. I'm not sure how many cards have we won in Grand Challenges. It should tell us uh, 11,000, almost 12,000 cards in the Grand Challenges. So. We need to win some more, man. I've seen some players with up to 100,000 cards. It's insane. Pong TV, the Korean god, has, uh, you know, over 100,000 cards. So, I basically boiled it down to, of course, the Expo is our best deck. But, with people running all these Golems and Lava Hounds. Um, well, not Lava Hounds. Lava Hounds are easy to counter with this because you got the Inferno. Um, and you've got, you've got two buildings to distract Lava Hound. But... And with all the air decks, it's hard for them to lock on to the expo, to get something to tank. Um, but this deck, in this deck, I've seen a lot of consistency out of, as well as the golem deck. But I'm just not real good with that golem deck. And I hate playing that elixir golem, and then having no elixir, and then if a hog comes in, you're basically screwed. Or if like a miner with the... Um, if a miner and a minion horde comes in, you're screwed too. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with the bowler deck. We'll see how we do. I really like the, the concept of the deck. It's kind of like, um, like I like to play it defensively with a bowler, maybe a musketeer and a mega minion, and then drop a giant at the bridge to counter push with like all the half wounded troops in the back. So we're gonna try to play it slow. I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna keep uh, pushing fast anymore. Good news is with this, we have we have both lightning and zap to deal with that, so. I think that was worth, right? I think most people would agree that that was a worthwhile, uh... I did that to save my musketeer. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have used that zap. I didn't know the musketeer was so dead. Look at that, uh... He left the match. Why would he leave the match? Look at that, um... Did you guys see that Musketeer with one health on it? The Mega Minion tanked for it, and it got off some extra swings. So hopefully this guy rejoins. If not, I'll just go ahead and three crown him and get to the next, you know, match. But, um, yeah, I like to play the deck defensively. You've got the musk. You've got a lot of good defensive cards. You've got the Tombstone. A lot of good cards, you just have to... Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and 3-crown this guy. No way he's coming back from this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of lightning targets in this deck, unfortunately. Like, he can lightning the Mega Minion, the Musketeer, and the Bowler. But, um, you know. That tower will go down very quickly. And there we go. Alright. So we're 1 0 in the Grand Challenge. It's uh, Nova Denmark, that guy was from. So maybe he left because he saw the writing on the wall. I mean, Sparkies, they're so easy to counter. I'm not sure why people really play them. Like, you know, he's probably a 4K plus player. That's mostly who I play because of my. I think it's because of my trophy count. But I'm only a level 10, so. You know, it's, it gets rough. <laughs> That was scary. Um, took a, almost a thousand damage too. Please get a shot off. Yeah, nice. You really just let that happen? Cool. You let us catch back up. Shoot the one on the right first. No. Well, we have this for the hog rider. That's a good good news. Uh, and I think we're ahead in elixir. One problem is, is that I don't, I don't like this lineup. Yeah, we're dead. Like I had nothing to play. Bad lineup. You know what? That was just bad. Hopefully, we can take that left tower though. I think we'd have had that left tower without the arrows. So yeah, we traded towers. Unfortunately, he took my full health tower, so now I've got that left side tower with, like, half health on it. He's 
probably gonna come in with the yeah keep laughing All right, so we had a bowler take care of all that. And keep laughing, douchebag. So, if any of you guys are expert players, let me know what I should be doing here. I don't really know. I know we just did a little bit of damage there, so that helps. We evened it up, but now he's gonna have this counter push. I already know that's coming. I played that up there because that. Uh, honestly, we didn't take that that bad of damage. Um, I'm gonna play the musketeer right here this time. I'm saving up for the lightning. Did you guys see that lag? That was bad. I've got to get back to lightning. I've got to hold on and get back to lightning. Got it, guys. Got it. He's BMing me, so I'm like BMing back. I usually don't, but I had to give him the little sad face. So suck on them, taste them, dribble them around in your throat a little bit, um, pull it out, put it back in, um, lick the rim, do whatever you want with it, survival. You could rub it together for a fire, you know? 3,500 trophies, so running that hog trifecta deck. Hope it was hope it was tasty, buddy. That's what you get for BMing people. It's not cool to BM people. Just because you're ahead in the game, you shouldn't act like a jerk, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> okay, this is what I hate. This starting hand. Because I don't know what to do. I don't want to play a giant. Come on, play something so I can lightning it. Play something right now with that here comes the hog. No, I've never seen that before. Good and bowl it back into those skeletons. Yeah, I like that. See, I hate single elixir because right now, what am I supposed to do? Um, you know what, I'll play that mega minion with it. He plays like a minion horde or something. I don't think that zap was even worth it because I wouldn't have got off any more damage. Probably not worth it. I think we're definitely ahead in elixir though. The hog's gonna be coming in though. So we've got that bowler. Come on, go ahead and play something with that musketeer. I mean, four for the hog, four for the, uh, nice, nice, keep tanking for it, keep tanking for it, get a shot at min Tank a minion, get a shot at, oh, and those two shots, I still, I'll call that worth. I know a lot of people might not, but I'll call that worth. I'm just gonna pull that hog over. See, I would like to have kept the. I'd have loved to have kept that musketeer in the right lane, but I got a little nervous, so. Take that out. I might get one shot off. And I've got both of these. Ah, that sucks. 
Alright, that push is dead. Good job, dude. Alright, he got one one hog swing in. Alright, I got an idea this time. So we're gonna place the giant and we're gonna put this uh, musketeer right here. And it works. Wow, it pushed my, uh... Didn't even get a swing in. It pushed the mini P.E.K.K.A. out of... Out of the territory. Wow, well, I got a shot off. And he's getting more shots off. Wow. Oh man, I messed up bad. We gotta win it with this push, or we're gonna be done for. We gotta save up 10 elixir and we got it one. Or no, we gotta save up 9 elixir. I was right there within spell cycle range. So that's the giant bowler deck, guys. It sucks we lost that last one. Nothing much I could really do. Oh, I hate to end on a loss. I could have won it. That last... Did You, you guys saw the one push where he got like 1500 damage. It was stupid of me to allow that to happen. I should have just done whatever I needed to do to make that not happen. I was in control the entire time. There was absolutely no reason that I should have lost that match, so. I'm gonna play another match. I'm not satisfied. I played that bad, I know. Alright, he's got all the counters in my deck.
I don't think he's very happy, guys. This was a little bonus for the end of the video. That's pretty much the giant bowler deck I'm messing around with. I'm also messing around with the Lava Hound. If you guys got any tips for me, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you guys come to the tournaments we do every time, every single day, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to look at my last Clash Royale video, it's showing up on the screen right now. If you want to subscribe, click on the logo that's showing up on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much. Your teamwork makes your work. Smash the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. I promise I'll get this deck down a little bit better, and I'll see you then. Peace.